to be honest with you, I had a very happy childhood. I can't for one minute complain there. Very, very happy. I joined the band when I was 17. Um, you know, I was a happy sort of confident guy. Everything was great. It was about 19, um, yeah, it was about 19 when, when things sort of started to turn for me and I, I did start to suffer with, uh, with anxiety. But did um, you try marijuana at school? Um, not actually in school. Um, it was sort of in the school holidays. Yeah. And that's the thing with, with marijuana, you know, you've got different forms of marijuana. Unfortunately, I kind of stumbled across the, the sort of strongest form mm -hmm. um, and became, you know, very quickly became... But that was just, you know, with your mates. The, yeah, you know, with my mates, managed. yeah, exactly. And then, you know, I joined the band. I remember the first night in the band house, I was kind mm. of tentatively checking whether they'd ever <laughs> smoked before. And, and I remember quickly thinking, you know, I'd left home, I'd left school and thinking, I'm, I'm a free man, I can do Nobody's what I want. Nobody's looking over you. you Nobody's looking you over me, yeah. And I... I very quickly uh, felt dependent on, you know, on skunk. And, um, and I remember growing up being told, oh, you can't get hooked on weed, it's totally fine. But yeah, within, you know, a month or so, that was it, that was me every night. It and was, I mean, uh, the, the, with this, at the same time, sort of running parallel to all of this was the, the band's success. And yeah. you got the Brits and, and all of this, but actually this anxiety was meaning that you, didn't have time for the fans, they would freak you out, yeah, you didn't it, want it, you nearly, you nearly quit actually. Well yeah, it was a tough time because um, that's the thing, it, it, things were great, everything, you know, we were number one, selling out tours, there were times where I struggled to cope with the position that I was in, but um, thankfully for me, um, you know, I, this isn't a sob story, I, no, I, you no. know, it's been a very happy outcome and I've had a very happy, you know, adult life as well. Um, but it's had its ups and downs, and, and that's what really inspired me to write the book. Well, know. it was because because of this, and we, we mentioned it in the introduction, there's the, there was the anxiety and the panic attacks and the OCD, a yeah. big, big surprise birthday party, and everyone yeah. comes around to your house and you're just looking down wanting to scream, take your shoes off. Yeah, or just get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Again, that's the thing. It creates irrational thoughts. But you also found that, that although you didn't have a problem with alcohol, that that mm. was another key that opened another up. Another key to, yeah. I, I remember being around yours, Holly. You remember, I remember you offered me a drink, and I... It was around the time when I'd stopped drinking because the alcohol, just like yeah. the drugs and, and smoking and everything, was, was sort of, you know, allowing the anxiety to rear its ugly head. And, um, and it was exercise that really was the catalyst to, to helping me deal with all these problems. When did you discover then that exercise made a difference to your state of mind? Well, initially I'd started exercising for aesthetic reasons. I wanted to get in shape, as they say. And uh, I soon realised um, that there were so many other benefits to exercise. And... And as I say, that's the reason I felt compelled to tell my story, to, to sort of show to others that there are so many other benefits yeah. to exercise. It's not just about transforming the way you look, it's about transform, you know, transforming the way you feel. And certainly for me, that was the case. And for some people, I think that getting into exercise or beginning that is the scariest part. And sometimes that world, going to a gym, can seem quite intimidating. That's exactly it. All the research I did for the book showed that people are intimidated by gyms, they don't have the time, they don't have the money. And I'm just saying here, look, and also the, the, the whole point about it being intimidating, I think with the fitness industry, everything is based on how to get abs in six weeks and how to sculpt your body to a certain way. But for me, there are so many more amazing benefits to exercise um, that aren't just about looking good, about feeling good. And as I say, I felt the mental health benefits mm. firsthand. I think Trisha, Trisha Goddard, who, um, who was used to do yeah. a show, Tr yeah. used to do Trisha on, on ITV in the yeah. mornings, I think she found that, that the key to her um, uh, anxiety problems was, mm. was exercise. Absolutely, she said very yeah. early on, and it, this transformed my life. Absolutely, and the same for me. And of course, the aesthetics are great, this, but for me, that's a byproduct. And um, you know, and also I, I'm sort of saying to people that you don't have to, you know, gyms are great. I enjoy going to the gym personally, but you don't have to join a gym. You don't have to spend an hour on the treadmill. It can be fun. You don't have, you don't need equipment. It doesn't have to cost loads of money. You don't need to spend an hour a day doing it. It can, you can get an effective workout done in five minutes. So for example, the selfie workout, you know, it's just a sort of five, 10 minute interval based workout where in between each interval you take a selfie and then, so effectively each selfie becomes less flattering and you make a collage, just a bit of fun, you know. But yeah, that's like another added responsibility I feel as, as, a, as a parent now, you know, to, to kind of keep control of, of my anxiety and, and other things that have, I've struggled yeah. with in the past. And as I say, exercise for me has been the key to, to kind of looking after myself. And if you feel that black mist rolling over, then yeah. you, you go out and run. Right, Izzy's right. just like, get to the gym. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. very much so. And, and I, just, I just feel like it needs a voice, you know, for people who have either suffered with anxiety or depression, you know, it can be, I've spoken to doctors and research, done you all my research. You spoke to our Dr Zoe, didn't Dr. you? Dr Zoe, that's right. And it can be as effective as, you know, a prescription as sort of an antidepressant.